All right, fixing an excursion today. In our case, it's a limousine, but it works for any early model excursions. This guy's gonna do the fixing. Steering wheel shakes like crazy when you're driving down the road. It's got a little death wobble. Tries to kill you. Tries to kill you. So show him what's wrong. So just pretty much start it up and just give her a little shimmy. Flip it around and talk to the camera. That one, that one is fucking shot. That's where the death wobble's coming from. All of them have a little bit of play. That's the problem right there. All right, so pretty much we're gonna, I'm only replacing this one today because obviously there's the most worn out one and that's the only thing O'Reilly's had in stock. And we're gonna be using this tomorrow. So uh, pretty much take this cotter pin out, this nut off, this cotter pin off, this nut off. And then over there on the right side spindle, you're taking that ball joint out as well. This whole bar is gonna come out as an assembly. Now, you're only gonna be buying this joint because that's your adjustment sleeve right there for the alignment. So this is only this bar, but that has come out to obviously replace this. So take it as one assembly. Um, realistically, if you're doing this job, I would highly recommend just replacing all of it at once, be done with it. But since we're on such short time notice and this is how we roll, this is how we do it. So, uh, a lot of the time it's really easy to, um, when you're getting these uh, ball joints out, is take a hammer and actually hit it right here on the pitman arm, and you can hit it right here on the drag link, and that'll, you know, vibrate the, uh, the ball joint, break loose that seize, seize joint, sorry, and uh, that'll allow it to come out. If not, you're going to be beating on this, and because we're reusing this, I can't fuck up these threads. So, let's hope we don't fuck it up. This is by far the easiest way to get this shit out. I, if you don't own an air, air hammer, I highly recommend to get one. Shmoney, dog. Shmoney. Nut may be just a little smooshed, but I got a replacement. Thread is still good. Ugh. Also, top tier. Highly recommend it. <laughs> oh, look at that. So instead of beating on this motherfucker 30 goddamn minutes with a hammer, Five minutes with an air hammer. I got all my shit out. So, yeah, you know, say that. That one was out, so. Do as I say, not as I do. I said I didn't want to fuck these threads up, so. Goes like that. Now, I'm gonna go to that side and get her. So this is true laziness. Realistically, any sane person would take off the fucking tire, but I'm real lazy. I don't feel like doing that. So, so, but what I will say, if you're doing this job, I noticed this when I was starting on this one. Make sure you fucking put your adjustment sleeve 180 out. This one was hitting the sway bar link, so yeah. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I personally do anytime um, I'm breaking apart steering components. Uh, I'm gonna link this in the description. I'll, I'll put this part in there. I'll go with this one. So I'll put this in there. I'll also put that air hammer. Um, like I said, I spent like $600 on my snap-on one at work. I bought this one for just around the house and I think it was like $120. Um, what, I, what I like to do at least, so I have a paint marker right here. I'm gonna come right here on these threads and mark it. Mark on this side. And then I'm gonna come right here on this side and mark this one as well. 
because like I said this adjustment sleeve is going to have to come off so we can swap this out. Um, some aftermarket was so you can tell straight off the bat right so this one is relatively the same design this one has a clamp style holder this one's welded on doesn't matter you can tell they're actually in different orientations so this one's 180 out doesn't matter don't get freaked out because the way this works is you just bust these bolts loose and they'll kind of open up you may have to take a screwdriver come out on this side right here kind of pry it open and it'll just slide out so what you're going to do is we'll take this off because this one like i said is, is uh, removable so we'll be able to spin this around we'll loosen this probably realistically we'll take a pry bar pry this open slide this one out slide this one in what i like to do once i have this one off is i'll measure from my paint marker to either the center hole of this one or this one just to give me a good length when you go aftermarket sometimes these thread pitches are off you know quarter inch eighth of an inch which in steering linkage terms is thwat. That's you're either going straight or you're turning fucking 90 degrees to the right. Not that bad, but it's not that bad. So I'll get that done and I'll show you how it looks. Look, I think this is another issue. So a lot of times when people replace the steering linkage, they don't replace this. So I'll, I'm really hoping a local parts store will have this because yeah, that there is not supposed to be that much play at all. Like that, there's supposed to be no play. This clamps down, holds your steering links in place. That's fucked. So I'm about to get a new one of these. <sighs> all right. So these are my measurements I, was, I took. And I'll show you briefly what I did on these. So you got 43 on the dot. You got 32 and a half and five and three quarters. And what those numbers are. So I'm going from the center, that ball joint down there. So from right there, you can see we are 43 on the dot, that's end to end. And I'm also going center to my paint mark on the adjustment sleeve, it's 32 and a half. And I'm also going from the center of this joint to right there on the adjustment sleeve. So that gives me three measurements to go off of to get this as close to straight as possible. Now, ideally, is not what you do. What you do is you go and take it to the alignment shop and they get it down to the millimeter of what it should be. That way it drives perfectly straight on the highway. But, all right, so for today, this will be just good enough. All right, so just grab this tape. But new parts in, um, obviously that's loose. Um, I did actually go and tighten that one already. But that side's in, finger tight. So this is just to get it in. Um, my measurement was off just a wee bit. So right here, like I said, is your adjustment sleeve, which you can actually do. It's a lot easier when the vehicle's kind of up in the air, but um, this right here will turn. So see that how it's turning back and forth. Um, if you unscrew it clockwise, because this is left-hand thread and that's right-hand thread, so it's gonna push it apart. If you tighten it in, it's gonna pull them together, and vice versa. You get the point. Turn this, and that's how you do, you get your adjustment in your toe, um, left to right. What you do, you want to get a nut and bolt through the clamp. So there's only one way that the bolts can go around. Um, imagine it like a circle with a flat spot on top, and the flat spot is where the bolt races against to hold everything in place. Okay, so I just realized Corey never really showed the final product here, but. Uh... Yeah, he got uh, he got her done. Doo -doo -doo. So it, it made the journey. Didn't shake, didn't do anything crazy. So, uh, heck yeah, awesome. So yeah, if you wanna know what the inside looks like, that's how she does. Got the, the RVAC we mounted on the top. That's how you stay cool down here in Texas, but that's how you do ball joints on an excursion or tie rod ends or whatever the hell he was doing. <laughs>